A traumatic kidnapping in Colombia is enough to make anyone rethink their life. But that's a story for another day. But Tom Hartdyke faced a new challenge, turning the family home, Lullingston Castle, into a successful business. Julie Maddox went to meet the man. Following the hugely successful TV series Saving Lullingston Castle, visitors swamped the attraction where Tom Hartdyke built his world garden and continues to work on his dream job. I'm lucky to be able to step out of the gatehouse and my job's here. Although I don't see it as a job, it is. And I'm lucky with that. And the transformation over three years has been absolutely amazing. 07, we'd, we still, well, we talk about it all the time, um, primarily because of the TV. It's been absolutely astonishing. And it was literally one of the programmes went out on the Tuesday before Easter, before Good Friday. And within, oh, on, on the Wednesday morning, there were people just queuing up. We were closed, you know. It was just chaos, and it was, it, it was a great experience, but ideally, not, not to repeat such a chaotic experience again, we've got more of a structure in place now, so that should be okay. But yeah, the transformation's been brilliant, and it's just going, going on from here, especially with the development of this two-acre wall garden. It just goes on. I'm building a bulb house in three weeks, and an alpine garden in four weeks. You know, it, it, all these things going on. Hopefully the visitor numbers will correspond to that. There's more to see when they get here. There's no doubt Lullingston is a beautiful visitor attraction, but how do you maintain the business side of the castle? Seriously, we need to, yeah, really need to think long term about what we're going to do here to, to maintain a visit, visit visitors, but also just maintain everything, to, to be honest. Because if we don't, it's, uh, we rely entirely on visitors coming to the garden and me giving talks as well. All the income made for, from those two key things um, funds the entire place and it's all volunteers that work here. Only one person's actually paid who cuts the lawns. Um, so it's quite an unusual setup with all the donations that we've got surrounded by plants that have been donated. So it's an unusual sort of set setup that just about works. But we do need some more visitors in to make it work even better, more smoothly anyway. I suppose the, the bottom line is, Julie, is to get 20,000 people a year for the six months that we're open to come into Lullingston. More would be great. 30,000, it becomes too chaotic, I think, even with what we've got here already, infrastructure-wise. But 20,000 people a year really makes the place work. We know that from 07. Um, and 15,000 is great, but you almost break even. To have that number consistently coming in from year to year would be the, the, pri the primal goal, really. It's been such a learning curve. I mean, it's has not even curved, it's just gone straight vertical up to space and it's still going vertical to space um, because every day is so different here, you know, so it's, uh, it's fascinating, really fascinating. Lullingston has not exactly saved full stop but it's not in the precarious situation it was four years ago, that was literally five years ago, going to put it for sale something. I mean literally that was actually the case and it's gone on beyond that I think, we've got a structure, we've got people helping out so as far as the um, oh it's all gone pear shaped aspect there isn't so much of that now. We wish him well, there's obviously more to come on that story. In the meantime for more business news 24 hours a day go to businessforkent.co.uk